Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad Bashem, the Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Ba'aki and Ba'akwaf, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, another sit down lesson, a second sit down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, the Prophet Jeremiah 51 and verse 7 through verse 9. And this is the book of Prophet Jeremiah, chapter 51 and verse 7, and it reads. It says, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord Yahweh's hand, that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunk up the wine, therefore the nations are mad. Right, and that's what we're seeing right now as we speak. It's in uh, full effect as we're speaking, just like it did in ancient times, in the Jeremiah's times, now we see that in modern day times. Because the scripture says, uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and verse 9, there's no new thing under the sun. So we're definitely seeing this is because this is the modern day version of uh, Babylon, especially this uh, system that what it promotes evilness and wickedness and unrighteous decrees still to this day, you know. Because the nation's been drunken off the ways of Babylon, just like in ancient times, now we see this in modern day times. And we see it more evident now, so more than ever, you know. That's why the scripture says in uh second Ezra, if I'm not mistaken, because uh, wickedness have proceeded and polluted the whole earth, you know. This is uh, the prophet Jeremiah. 51 and verse 8 it says Babylon is Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed how for her to take on for her pain is so she may be healed right just like it wasn't going to heal for ancient Babylon now this modern day version of Babylon of this modern day Babylonian economical and system system is not going to be healed we definitely going to continue to see the increase and decline of a modern day version of Babylon now so more than ever so the heavenly father uh, put the spirit on his uh, men to prophesy against uh modern day Babylon just like the prophets of old did in Jeremiah 28 80 explains that you know? and we see in that in modern day times too so there's no healing for Babylon how for her you know because she, if so she may be healed there, there's no healing for a modern day version out of Babylon you know? <coughs> this is uh, the prophet Jeremiah 51 and verse 9 it says we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsaken her, let us go, everyone to his own country, for her judgments reach up to the heavens, and is lifted up even to the sky. Right, so there's no uh, healing for Babylon. So the judgments of Babylon has been reached up to the heavens, and it's lifted up even to the sky, and still to this day. You know? So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying. This was a quick sit-down second lesson that I wanted to bring out of uh, the prophet Jeremiah. Uh, 51 and verse 7 through verse 9. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shab, Hashem, Kavadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. Until next time, I will say Shalom.